The Toronto Maple Leafs did not end up with Wayne Simmons or Adam McQuaid or pretty much anything Terry Koshan. A very quiet trade deadline for the Toronto Maple Leafs who acquired Nick Patan in exchange for Per Lindholm. And I don't know about you, did you think this was the wise move for a Leafs team that has cup aspirations? Well, whether it was wise or not, Mike, I mean, these guys think that they're set with uh, the move they made last year to sign John Tavares and then getting Jake Muzzin from the Kings at the end of January. So. Would Kyle Dubas have liked to have added to this group? Sure he would have. It just didn't work out for them the past few days. Of course, you mentioned Simmons going to uh, Nashville, so they get him. And, and uh, Adam McQuaid, a guy who was, uh, you know... Um, Provides maybe Chuck yeah, Clements on the back yeah, end. Yeah, he moved as well by the New York Rangers and brought to the Leafs. So, you know what? Uh, it's a deep club. Uh, there are some question marks still on the blue line, I think. There aren't any in net. And we'll see where this takes them. Uh, but this is a depth deal, nothing more than that. Nick Patan will report to the Leafs. He'll get a shot in the fourth line and replace Pera Lindholm, who had one goal in 61 games. So maybe they miss him a little bit on the PK, but otherwise they won't. And, and you know what? The good news for the Toronto Maple Leafs is that the Boston Bruins, aside from adding Marcus Johansson and uh, Charlie Coyle a few days ago, they didn't get significantly better. They didn't end up with Mark Stone or any of those top flight free right. agents. Tampa Bay Lightning, you know, they're a dominant well, team, but they didn't get any better. They're so far ahead of everyone else anyway. Yeah. My point is, a lot of the movers and shakers came out of the West, with the exception of the Columbus Blue Jackets, right. who aren't going to face the Leafs until the conference final, if that. Does that give you any optimism going forward that, you know what, the, the Bruins aren't significantly better today than they were yesterday? Well, not necessarily. I mean, the, the Bruins are only three points up on the Leafs right now, but it's the whole, uh, the mental side of things if those two teams meet in the first round. We know what happened with the Leafs last year. Not much really a uh, point to mention what happened in 2013 because that the team has changed so drastically. Right. But the Bruins have the winning pedigree. A lot of those guys still left over from the 2011 team that won the cup and this sort of thing the Leafs don't have as a group. So I think that there will be a hurdle to pass for sure. And, and really the way it looks now, Mike, all that needs to be determined is home ice advantage in that first round between the Leafs and the Bruins with the Bruins, like I say, three points up and leads the game in well, we'll see how everything turns out. Ultimately, I think it's going to come down to the core. How good are John Tavares, Mitch Marner, Austin Matthews and company? And you know what? This team will be judged on that first round playoff experience or that playoff series. For Post Media News, this is Terry Koshan. I'm Michael Trakos.